Right now, a lot of families across Metro Atlanta are preparing red foods for Juneteenth, the red symbolic of enslaved ancestors' bloodshed and their sacrifice. Yeah, 11 Alive's Karis Belcher spoke to a local restaurant owner about the significance of these dishes in Black American history. G Smalls tells me his work is about more than filling bellies. He says he helps people take a bite out of Black American culture. At Virgil's Gullah Kitchen, the fire Fried. and the flavor is on high. I believe that we should celebrate that because it's our food. And each plate has a pinch of influence from G Smalls' family. I grew up in Gullah Geechee culture, and one of the, the strong components of our culture is food. First thing I really remember learning is one of my father's favorite things to eat, and that was shrimp and grits. He loved to make, and we called it shrimp and gravy. On this Juneteenth, G's kitchen is busy, and he says the staff are serving more than savory bites. And we've been made to feel ashamed of eating collard greens, fried chicken, and macaroni and cheese for so long, but it's the fabric of America. Recipes passed down for generations from the enslaved and the emancipated, now enjoyed by G's customers. On Juneteenth, you typically have cookouts, right? And every cookout, every barbecue in our culture, you serve red rice. With a distinct taste. Gullah Geechee culture is, um, is very intertwined with West African culture because that's where our ancestors are from. So if you know about jollof, our version of that is red rice. He says the most popular plate is this salmon with a Geechee twist. Kernels with the Trinity, that's, that's your uh, green peppers, red peppers and onions. You have some Gullah Geechee seasonings in there. A secret he won't fully reveal. There's probably a little garlic, a little <laughs> salt and pepper in there. How about that? <laughs> and each order an opportunity to share. That's a part of our 40 acres in the mule. So if you, if you want to give me this platform for me to let you know about my culture, then I'm going to do that. And G tells me he hopes people keep their hunger for black culture beyond Juneteenth. In West Midtown, Karis Belger, 11 Alive News. And tonight on 11 Alive Plus, you can watch our Voices for Equality special episode commemorating Juneteenth as we look back on the history, impacts, and celebrations surrounding the holiday. That's tonight at 6.30. 11 Alive Plus is free to download on Roku and Amazon Fire devices.